Hello, pool players, and welcome back to Bar Guy Billiards. Uh, today's video is going to be about stun shots and the importance of adding this very important skill to your shot tool bag. Now, there's not many more shots more important than developing stun shots. Now, there's a lot of variations to stun shots, but basically a stun shot is altering <clears throat> the natural path of the cue ball with the use of low hand English. And that, and that means when you have a, a shot that you're not quite straight in on. If I'm over here, this is not a, if I'm over here like this, this is not a stun shot. This is a cut shot. If I'm over here like this, I'm about, you know, maybe a ball, ball and a half from straight in. This becomes a stun shot how I shoot it. <clears throat> now the natural path of the cue ball is if you use the 30 degree peace sign rule to give you a good idea where the cue ball is going. I've done a video on this as others have and the way it works is you take your, make your peace sign, point your index finger at the line of the shot and your middle finger will tell you the path of the cue ball. And this shot, the cue ball is going to hit the rail right about here and come right back over, right over here somewhere, depending on how hard I hit it. <clears throat> and that's exactly what it did. Uh, now you see a nine ball over there. Now if I'm playing nine ball, I would much rather be over here than over here. This shot is a lot more difficult than if your cue ball is over here, especially if you're a beginning or an inexperienced player learning the game. So let's see what a stun shot actually looks like. So you, without any English, you saw the cue ball hit the rail and come over here and leave me, uh, you know, somewhat of a difficult shot on the nine ball. On a nine foot table on this crown, if you don't hit it perfectly, it's, it's not going in. And same with if you play on diamond tables, you know, those corner pockets are tough if you don't hit the ball perfect. <clears throat> so we can eliminate that angst by getting the cue ball a lot closer to the nine ball and we're going to shoot a stun shot here. And in this case, not quite straight in. I'm a ball, ball and a half off to the left. So I'm going to stun the cue ball to the right and bring it over here. I'm going to do that by using low hand English, hitting the cue ball, oh, I don't know, tip and a half, two tips below, below center. I'd much rather have that shot than the cue ball over here. And I could probably shoot that again and actually get it closer than that. Let's do that and see what happens. Okay, that's even better, but you, you get the idea. You, Using low hand English, instead of having the cue ball hit the rail and come over here, that low hand English is pulling the cue ball over here for a, a much easier shot on the nine ball. Now a more extreme example of that. Is if you're playing nine ball, and your nine ball is down here, you have to get on this end of the table. You don't want to be over here. You certainly don't want to be over here. You want to stun that cue ball all the way to this end of the table and being able to work the cue ball the length of the table like this is one of the most important skills you can develop in pool in a vast majority of the time. That means a stun shot or many, many cases. So let's see what this looks like. Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna make that shot probably 100% of the time. And this is a speed control shot. You know, when you in time you're <clears throat> working the cue ball, and this is a nine foot table, you know, seven, eight feet down here. You know, might have got it here, might have got it here, but as long as I'm somewhere in this area, I'm gonna make that shot every time. And if you're a beginning player, you know, who's played a little bit, you're gonna make that shot too. So let's look at a couple of other examples of stunt shots. Oftentimes you're playing position for your final object ball into the side pocket and the nine ball is in the other side pocket, but oftentimes you don't get perfect position on the five on the side. You overran the position a little bit, and this is where a little stun shot comes in really handy. Now, if I just use the natural progression of the cue ball, it's going to end up over there somewhere. <laughs> of course, it helps if I make the shot. I didn't even look. Okay, and I certainly, I certainly don't want to shoot that shot, that nine ball shot. I mean, I could. I mean, I could make it. It's not a real difficult shot for me, but if you're a beginning player, that's a tough little cut. Now, if I overran position to the left where the natural path of the cue ball is going to bring it over here, I can do a little, little stun shot, a little low hand English, and keep the ball right in this area somewhere in here. There's two ways I can shoot this. If I should shoot it straight low hand English, pretty much end up straight in but it depends on the severity of the, of the cut angle. If you're a little further over like this, this little stun shot that I like, instead of just low hand, I like using a low left. And then I put the easy out. That, that, that was a slightly steeper angle than the, than the shot beforehand. So you can, you can slow down the, the trajectory of the cue ball by using low low left or low right depending on the on the uh, on the angle of the uh, the cue ball on the object ball, but you get the idea. You change the trajectory, the natural path of the cue ball by using low hand English. So you could set up these little stun shots anywhere on the table, and again, a stun shot is not straight in little to the left, little to the right. If you're to the left of the object ball, you'll stun to the right. If you're to the right of the object ball, you'll stun to the left. And again, if I'm over here, that's not a stun shot. If I'm over here, that's not a stun shot. Those are cut shots. Stun shots are when the cue ball is just a little bit, um, not exactly straight in. And then, that, <clears throat> then using low hand English, you can pull that cue ball around the table. So you set up little shots like this and practice pulling the cue ball over here for maybe position on a ball on the side. Or you can set up stun shots in the side pocket, which brings me to another point I forgot to show. The importance of a stun shot. Now, if I'm at this angle, which is pretty steep, I can't, I can't do a little touchy, you know, little, little finesse stun shot and keep the ball over here because the angle's too steep. The cue ball's going to go down here, leaving me a lat nasty little cut on that nine on the side. So the way to shoot this shot, you're going to stun it. But what you're going to do is you're going to stun it off this rail and bring the cue ball back over here like this.
Yeah, that was a little short. Let's do that again. Perfect. So that's the thing about doing these videos. When you get down to shoot a demonstration shot, sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want. Um, again, I don't edit those shots out of my videos. I just keep going. But <clears throat> these are all good, excellent shots to practice, to be able to learn how to stun that cue ball around the table, up and down the table, left and right. You can set up yourself very stun shot, shots like this, where the natural path of the cue ball is going to go over there but you want it to come straight across the table. Well, that was a little less than straight, but uh, you got the point. So practicing these shots and learning how to, how to stun that cue ball around the table is an extremely important skill to develop in your developing pool game. It's really worthwhile practicing. And as always, like I like to do, when I practice any shot, I practice it in all the pockets to give me a visual, uh, a different visual perspective um, for, for uh, every pocket, corner pocket, side pockets. Practice these shots. It's going to really help your game. Learn how to stun the cue ball, and it'll open up a whole new world for you. Thanks for watching Bar Guy Billiards. And as usual, we'll see you at the table next time.